Christianity is originated as a Jewish sect, uh, and what they did is they, uh, the orig original Christians, is they took Judaism and they took this other fashion going on all around them and combined them to create a new version of Judaism, a sort of uh, super Judaism. But notably, they did the exact same thing the Jews did when they were conquered by the Persians. They adopted all of these Zoroastrian ideas and made their religion different by incorporating this foreign culture that had conquered them. So all of these sons of God, except the one on the end is a daughter of God, uh, Osiris, Adonis, Romulus, Zalmoxis, and Inanna are just the ones that we know for sure uh, had resurrection cults prior to, uh, prior to Christianity. There are many other uh, similar gods uh, that, that could put, be put into this category, but they're harder to date. Uh, Inanna on the end, by the way, uh, we have stone tablets dating back to 1700 BC uh, in which she is, uh, descends to the lower world uh, into, into what we would call hell, uh, is stripped naked, uh, put on trial in a kangaroo court, is stricken dead by a death spell, and then nailed up, basically crucified. And then her minions come down and feed her the food of water and life three days later, and she's resurrected from the dead and ascends to glory. Sounds like a similar tale we've heard before, right? And the ones that Christians would most be aware of uh, are Romulus, for example, Roman state god, his death and resurrection was celebrated in annual passion plays, actually called passion plays. They were actually acted out uh, the death and resurrection of Romulus every year. Osiris, Egyptian god, those baptized, yes, baptized into his death and resurrection are saved in the afterlife. Sound familiar? Zalmoxis is a Thracian, possibly Celtic god. His death and resurrection assures followers of eternal life as well. Uh, Zalmoxis uh, was in Herodotus. This, their cult is described in Herodotus, and Herodotus was one of the main school texts that would be used to teach how to write uh, for advanced writers who are writing at the level of the writers we see in the New Testament, who are writing in Greek, which means we can be absolutely certain that the authors of the Gospels read Herodotus, because everybody read Herodotus if you learned how to write Greek that well, uh, and therefore they would know about Zalmoxis. It would not be a coincidence.